welcome back to the GBW YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be opening up the brand new Topps Chrome Disney 100 Hobby Boxes. We've got two to open today's video and hopefully we can hit an ultra rare dual or quad autograph card. So if you're excited to see what we get inside these all new Topps Chrome Disney Boxes then make sure to absolutely smash that like button and if you are new to this channel hit that subscribe button as well so you do not miss any future uploads. So yeah without further ado let's open up the brand new Topps Chrome Disney 100 Hobby Boxes boxes. So yes, as I said, we have got two boxes to open in today's video. These each retailed at £150 at Topps' website and they sold out within a matter of hours. And I was glad to pick up three boxes. I have just opened one off camera where I got these hits here. I managed to get five numbered cards compared to the usual four. And it's just such a nice looking set. Look at all these top loaded refractors, base cards of Woody. That's where we're chasing. We're chasing Toy Story cards, mainly Buzz or Woody. Uh, they've got some nice insert cards there as well. There's a Mickey Mouse base card card as well and um yeah there we go really really nice looking set even the base cards at class so fingers crossed we can get something amazing in one of these two boxes uh, so there's 18 packs inside each box four cards per pack as it says on the side there and um yeah four numbered parallels guaranteed inside every box and by the way the boxes look absolutely beautiful all right here we go the box is open and look the packs look amazing as well it's just such a nicely designed box uh, very smart so uh, yeah let's get the first pack out of the box and let's see what we're gonna get remember four numbered cards minimum per box plus hopefully a jewel or quad autograph card uh, so we're starting off with a simba base card there which is very nice um, and on the back it basically gives information about the respective character which is quite cool um, so yeah there is simba uh, we've then got uh, barley lightfoot we've then got peter pan that's a nice one and we've got refractor of luca that's a nice one as well uh, luca of course from the film luca put that in the top loader and there we go that's our first hit of the box a nice little refractor of luca paguro um, fantastic. Right, in the next one we've got uh, Mowgli. Mowgli. Someone corrected me in the last Disney box opening I did and said I was very wrong in my pronunciation of uh, of him. So, um, yeah, there we go. It's uh, it's him, basically. We've then got Princess Tiana. Uh, we've also got uh, Baymax. And we finish with, oh, that's a nice one, Doc Hudson uh, Refractor, obviously from the film Cars. Uh, so that is a nice one as well. Again, the refractor shine on these cards is just, oh, tops making a Disney set. And it's tops chrome as well. Honestly, it's like my dreams are coming true. Absolutely beautiful. The, the Kakawao one we opened earlier on in the year on the channel was good in itself, but... Tops Chrome Edition. Oh my word, it, it's just unbelievable. Uh, starting off this one with uh, Heimlich. That's quite a cool one. Uh, didn't have any cards in the Kakawa Edition, did he? Uh, there's a nice Toy Story one, the first one of the box. It's Lotso. Uh, we've then got Ian Lightfoot. And we finished with a Peter Pan Refractor. That's a pretty decent one as well. Um, lovely Peter Pan Refractor. Definitely the, I'd say, the best hit of the box so far. So, still awaiting our first numbered card. Right, so, this next pack, we're starting off with Bruno Mad uh, Madrigal. That's quite cool. Uh, obviously, he got a very iconic song about him, hasn't he? Uh, we then got The Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Fun fact. <laughs> we then got Stitch, and we finish with... Uh, I think this is going to be... Oh, it's numbered, you know. That is Mirabelle from Encanto. 394 of 399 Mirabelle. Our first number card of the double box break we're doing in today's video. Uh, so, yeah, quite high numbered. That's the only thing. There is quite a few high number cards in these boxes from what I've seen. Um, but... Hopefully, we'll balance out at some point and we'll get something huge, like a dual auto or something like that. But yeah, nice one uh, to start off with. Mirabelle to 399. Uh, next pack, we're starting off with Maui. That's an iconic one right there. Uh, that is lovely, of course. A live-action edition coming soon for the Moana film. Uh, we then got Remy from Ratatouille. We then got Meg, and we finish with a Stitch in Costume. A whole new world, this one. Uh, so that's one of the insert cards from the set. Uh, there we go. Uh, Stitch in Costume. Right, let's get to the next pack. Come on, give us something incredible, Tops. That'd be lovely. Uh, we've got uh, Mushu. Uh, what have we got here? We've got Hades. And then we have got, oh, look at that, Carl Friedrichsen. That is a lovely card. And at the back, it's going to be an iconic moment, something. Yes, it is. Iconic moments. And that is 
uh, Mulan Readies for War. Still awaiting our second number card of the box, but then again, we could easily get five number cards like I did in my warm-up box I opened before filming. We might have something in this one, you know. But we're starting off with Goofy. There we go. Uh, who have we got here? We've got Ember Lumen, uh, Mike Wazowski. There we go. And at the back, it's going to be another iconic moment. And this time, I believe that's Ratatouille. Yeah, Critics' Choice Iconic Moments. There we go. That is absolutely sensational. I love these Iconic Moments cards. They're probably my favourite insert card in the set, it has to be said. So, yeah, let's get stuck into the next pack. And we're starting off with... I found him! It's Nemo. There he is, uh, finding Nemo there. We've got Buzz Lightyear. There we go. That can go with my Woody base card rather nicely. we then got Belle... And we finish with Anna for, uh, well, not for Frozen, from Frozen. Yeah, I, <laughs> I need to get it out of my system. I'm not opening football cards today. I'm opening Disney cards. So it's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, Anna there from Frozen. Speaking of Frozen, we've got Olaf. There we go. Uh, and then we have got the Evil Queen, Jasmine. And then behind that, oh, it's going to be numbered to three, no, 299, I think this one is. And it's Flick. From Bugs Life, there we go. One of the one of my favourite films growing up. One nine eight of two nine nine purple parallel of flick. I mean, let me, let's just say we're getting some very high numbered cards at the moment, which is never ideal. But hopefully it does balance out in the near future. Uh, but we'll definitely take a nice numbered flick. There we go. Uh, flick, of course, from Bugs Life. Uh, so that's Mirabelle and Flick to 399 and 299, respectively. Very high numbered, as I said. I'm hoping it's going to balance itself out. So we're starting this next one with Fox and Hound. Uh, we've then got Oswald the Rabbit. There we go. Uh, we've also got Russell. So we've got both of the up cards in this set so far. And then we finish with a Nemo Refractor. That's a beauty. That is an absolute stunner of a card. Lovely Nemo Refractor there. Um, fantastic. Look at that. And let's get into the next pack and see what is hiding. Uh, we're starting off with Dopey from uh, Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, of course. 101 Dalmatians. We've then got Doc Hudson Base. And at the back, it's going to be a uh, Hades Refractor. Put that in the top loader, and that is... We've had quite a few refractors, haven't we? One, two, three, four, five refractors. I mean, they look absolutely beautiful, don't they? A full set of all the base cards in refractor form would look special, let's just say that. Um, but yeah, that is Hades Refractor in that one. Let's get into the next one. We're still due two number cards minimum. Haven't got many packs left either. Uh, so starting off with Ernesto de la Cruz. We've got Snow White. Uh, we've then got, who's that? That's Wade Ripple. And at the back, it's going to be a another refractor, I think. Uh, yeah, Captain Hook this time, refractor. That's quite a decent one, isn't it? Goes nicely with the uh, Peter Pan one we got earlier on. Uh, so Captain Hook in there, refractor form. And I'll we'll put that in the top loader, put it back on the pile, and get stuck into the next pack. We're still looking for another numbered card. Hopefully, it's not going to be really high numbered like the others. Hello. Hello there. That's Gold Wave. <laughs> this could be decent. This could be decent. Come on. Uh, we've got Frozone. Uh, we've then got Corella Deville. We've also got Ursula. And what's it going to be? Is it going to be... Oh, what way is that? Oh, we need, to, we need to do it the other way around. So it's going to be a base parallel. I think it's going to be to 50. Any guesses on who this is? It's got a top hat. Is that Jiminy Cricket? Oh, no. It's Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Look at that, Scrooge McDuck, 47 of 50. That gold wave design is absolutely beautiful. I love that. Oh, that, that's unbelievable. I'll tell you what, Topps Crow making Disney cards. Oh, it's just, it is such a good combination. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's our lowest number card so far. And it's the lowest number card I've had from two boxes worth so far. We've still got another box to open after this as well. Out of 50, Scrooge McDuck. Fantastic stuff. I thought it was going to be Jiminy Cricket because of the hat. Um, but no, Scrooge McDuck. Fantastic. Let's get into the next one. Still due. One more number card. And you never know. We might have an auto lurking as well. So we're starting off this one with Sully. We've then got Cinderella. Uh, Asher. And at the back, it's going to be another parallel. It's blue by the looks of it. And that is going to be Baloo to 75. There we go. This has been a solid box disc. Baloo to 75. Blue parallel. <laughs> that's, that's a bit of a mouthful. But yeah, there we go. From the Jungle Book, of course. 
That is a lovely card. I'll tell you what, this has been a solid, solid box. It has to be said. Um, an out of 50, an out of 75, the out of 399 and out of 299 were decent characters, to say the least, as well. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Fantastic. You never know. We might get another number card as well or an auto in these last four packs of this box. Uh, we're starting off with Edna Mode, you know, which is quite cool. We then got Anton Ego, uh, Donald Duck. There he is. And we finish with Stitching Costume. And that is High Flying Fun. There we go. Fantastic. And in the next one, three packs left of box number one of the video. And we're starting off with... Hello. Is that going to be... Oh, no. I think it's just an insert at the back. I thought it was going to be a super fractor. Um, we've got uh, Genie. We've then got uh, Cheshire Cat. We've got uh, uh, Joe Gardner from Soul. And it's a Pluto off the page card. There we go. Very, very nice. Pluto off the page insert. I think there's one of these per box on average. So we'll take that, especially because it's Pluto. Bit of an iconic character there. Uh, so we'll put it in the insert pile there. Penultimate pack of box number one. And we've got another box to open in today's video. Let's see if we can hit the jackpot. We've got Dr. Facilia. We've then got a Mat uh, Mater. Not Mater. That's poor for me. Uh, and then we have got Winnie the Pooh. And at the back, it's Iconic Moments, and oof, that's from Luca, isn't it? Walking in the Air. And final pack, is there going to be an auto in this box, or are we going to be relying on our final box? I think it's, even so, it's about 1 in 30 boxes for an auto on average, so definitely rare, uh, but you never know. We're starting off this one with Merlin. Uh, we've then got uh, Luca, uh, Luca Paguro. We've then got uh, Yzma, however you say that. And we finish with someone who's got ears. It's Bambi. I was numbered. Another five box, uh, five numbered box. And that is Bambi. 109 of 399. So very high numbered, unfortunately. But a very nice card again. Bambi this time to go along with our Mirabelle to 399. And of course the Flick to 299. And Balloon 75. And Scrooge McDuck uh, to 50. So I'd have to say... I'm pretty happy of that box. Yes, it would have been nice to have uh, an auto, of course, but again, they are super duper rare. And remember, we do have another box to open in today's video. Smash that like button. Wish us good luck before we get into this next box. Fingers crossed it will be a beauty. Right, here we go. Let's crack this seal open and see what we can get inside. Come on, tops. Bless us with a good box right here. Let's open it up. There's all the packs looking absolutely sen uh, sensational. And let's get stuck into the first one and see what we're going to get. Come on. Give us a Woody and Buzz dual auto. That would be unbelievable scenes. Uh, we're starting off with uh, Ernesto de la Cruz. We've got Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Wade Ripple. And we finish with a, another to 399. Uh, it's uh, Urko Visconti. Uh, 90 of 399. Oof. Let's get into pack number two. So, yeah, that's a, that's a bit annoying because that's one of the number cards gone just like that. Uh, we're starting off this one with Sully. Uh, then we have got Cinderella, uh, Asher, and it's going to be an iconic moment. Oh, look at that. That is brilliant. First Toy Story iconic moments I've seen. Daylight. That is, um, yeah, that's superb. Fantastic. In the next pack, we're starting off with Dr. Facilia. And then we have got Mater from Cars. Uh, Lotso from Toy Story. And we've got a Winnie the Pooh refractor. That's going to be a popular one. Again, very, very iconic character in the Disney scene. Um, so, yeah, Winnie the Pooh a refractor card. There we go. Smashing. Right. Let's get into the next pack. Come on, give us another low number because that... That out of 50 Scrooge McDuck is just a beauty. The gold wave. Oh, uh, We've got Nemo in this one. We've then got another Buzz Lightyear. We've got Belle. And then we've got, at the back, Dory Refractor. That'll go quite nicely with our Nemo Refractor, won't it? Let's get into the next pack and see what's inside. We've got Dopey. We've then got the 101 Dalmatians, Doc Hudson, and an iconic moment uh, from Monsters, Inc. there. And that is called Kitty Has to Go. And next pack, we're starting off with Genie. Uh, we've then got Frozone, Cruella de Vil, and it's just a base pack this time with Cheshire Cat at the back there. Uh, so let's move swiftly into the next pack, and hopefully there is something decent inside. We're starting off with Lightning McQueen, which is a decent one. We've then got Roz, uh, Maleficent, or Maleficent, however you say that. And Stitch in costume, and that is uh, High Flying Fun again, the Dumbo one. 
Uh, there we go. Let's get into the next pack again. Come on, give us some Toy Story. Give us a dual auto. Give us a quad auto. Give us a super fractor. Um, so we're starting off with Wreck It Ralph. We've then got Moana, uh, Joe Gardner, and it's going to be a refractor at the back for Lotso. There we go. So we've got a Toy Story hit finally. Uh, Lotso, not the greatest one in the world, but uh, for my collection that is. But I'm sure other Toy Story fans would be all over it. Um, but yeah, I'm mainly after the Buzz and Woody ones. But that is still so nice. Absolutely beautiful card. The refractors are oh, such a clean looking set. They've really, really done well with making this collection, I have to say. And in the next one, we're starting off with Kenai. We've then got Rapunzel. We've got Bambi, and at the back, it's going to be to 299. And who's it going to be? Oh, it's Ember Lumen to 299 there. I can't remember what this film's called. It's one of the newer ones, isn't it? Is it Elemental? It might be that one, actually. Um, but yeah, again, does that make it up on the wall instead of what we've already got? I don't think it does. This has been a poor box so far. Two numbered parallels I'm not really interested in, unfortunately, and very, very high numbered. Uh, so let's see if that changes in the next few. We've got uh, Pluto there. We've then got uh, Merida. We've got Ariel. And we've got another blue parallel. Uh, will it be of blue this time? Let's find out. Uh, it's going to be... Who is that? That is Luca Paguro to 75. Um, re blue Refractor. Nice colour match on that, to be fair. But again, it's not really what we're after but at least it is lower numbered than 299, let's just say that. We'll take down Mirabelle for now, and we'll put um, Luca right in the middle there to 75. So that's joint on the second uh, lowest number card so far, along with Baloo. Uh, let's make another pile of base cards, because we're starting to have a bit of an overflow here. Um, but yeah, we want to see something lower than number out of 50. That would be nice, or even matching an out of 50. Uh, we've got Judy Hops, and then we have got a The Tramp. Uh, we've got Eeyore, and we finish with a Mulan Refractor. And in the next pack, we're starting off with Heimlich. And then we have got the Evil Queen. Uh, we've got Ian Lightfoot. And at the back, it's Stitch in Costume. This time, it's Under the Sea. Didn't we get that earlier on? Uh, no, not in this box. Uh, but Under the Sea, Stitch in Costume. Uh, next pack, still due two number cards? No. Uh, only the one number card left to be found from this box. Oh, no. Uh, we've got Maui, uh, Remy. We've then got Meg. And, oh, no. It's going to be to 399. Oh, it's dopey to 399. Nice little colour match to his hat, to be fair. But, wow. This has been an absolutely shocking box. That is the four number cards you meant to get already been hit. And we've still got a load to open. Ho I'm, I'm hopeful that there's another, there's something else in here. Hopefully a dual auto or a quad. Uh, we've got Tinkerbell. We've then got Jafar, uh, Jiminy Cricket, and Iconic Moments from Beauty and the Beast. That's a nice one there. And in the next pack, we're starting off with Lilo. Ooh, hello. We've got something green at the back. Is that green? I think it's green. So that is another number card. Could well be a dual auto. You never know. Uh, we're starting off with Lilo. Uh, we've then got Princess Vanellope. We've got Scrooge McDuck. And it's going to be... I don't think it's going to be a dual auto, sadly. But let's see what it is going to be. It's going to be uh, Maleficent. Maleficent to 99 green parallel. Really nice looking parallel design, to be fair. And at least it isn't to 299 or 399. And that will replace the Bambi we've got up on the wall there. There we go. Very nice. So we've got a bit of a variety of colours going on on the, uh, on the wall now. Other than the uh, light pink and purple. Uh, but I want to see another out of 50 or below that. Oh, again, that Scrooge McDuck is definitely the nicest card of the video. Uh, we've got Tigger. We've then got the Incredibles. That's full family in one picture there, pretty much. Uh, then we have got uh, Sebastian. And we finish with... Who's that? That is Hortensia? Yeah, Hortensia. Two packs to go of this video. Will there be something crazy in one of these last two? Let's hope so. Uh, we've got Pocahontas. Uh, we've then got Captain Hook. Uh, we've got another card from Luca, and at the back it is Kenai Refractor. Um, again, I don't know what film that's from, sadly. So that that's that's a bit novicey from me there. Um, but yeah, there we go. Final pack. Please, please have a dual auto in at least something Toy Story. All oh, right, come on. So we're starting off with Olaf. And we've then got a Ursula. We've got Jasmine, and at the back it's just a refractor. 
and it's of Baymax from Big Hero 6. So I have to say, overall, these boxes haven't been very kind to me personally. I have seen some very, very, very good boxes from other people, which is a bit of a, a bit horrible to swallow, to be honest, not going to lie. Uh, but overall, the cards look amazing. The base cards are class, refractors, everything like that. Um, just a shame that my boxes were... Not the greatest apart from the Scrooge McDuck out of 50. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you absolutely smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And of course, hit the notification bell next subscribe button. That way you'll never miss a future upload which gets uploaded to the channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>